Well, a lot of people are nervous over here. Gina, we are right on the state line between Louisiana and Mississippi, and they're prepared. They are expecting some flooding. Take a look. They have the deuce and a half right here, ready to go in case anybody has to be rescued. They also have a boat and another truck that looks just like this. And then right over there is sand. And all day, people have been filling up sandbags. Check out this video. We caught up with some people who came by to get 300 sandbags. We should also point out that here near Purlington, there is a shelter open. That opens at 9 o'clock tonight. That's for anybody who feels threatened, who sees the water coming up tonight or feels that the water could come up tomorrow. They can come to this shelter, seek higher ground, and be safe. Emergency officials are urging people to be smart, and they are urging them, if they feel threatened, to get to higher ground. We caught up with some of these people filling up sandbags just a few moments ago. Well, back in 83, it was about three foot of water and uh, two foot of water in my dad's yard. And they expected to crest close to the same level. So best be safe than sorry. That's right. That is definitely the theme as they are expected to get some flooding from the Pearl River. And once again, take a look. This is the deuce and a half they have out here in West Hancock County. They're hoping not to have to use it, but it is here. They are ready. Like I said, they have this deuce and a half, another one and a boat at the fire department ready to go. So they are definitely on standby, ready for the river to rise. Adriana, Gina, let's send it back to you all in the studio.